Good evening. A community mourns as a tragic accident takes the life of a young girl. Bart Pediatic explains how the town of Kitscotty has pulled together to help out the grieving process. 18-year-old Kelly Stone was found dead in her vehicle on Monday morning by Kitscotty RCMP. Emergency services received a call of a vehicle down an embankment on Highway 16 at Range Road 24. Uh, on arrival, emergency services determined that there was uh, one occupant of the vehicle and that occupant was deceased at the scene. According to initial RCMP investigation, the accident probably occurred at 3 in the morning. According to Kitscotty RCMP, Miss Stone was traveling westbound on Highway 16 when she went through the Grass Meridian and across eastbound highway. She rolled over and ended up in this embankment right here. She graduated high school in May and to those newer, it's a sombering experience. Very shocking, very shocking. Um, I mean, these kinds of events always rock a school community and um, we do our best to uh, support our kids and, and our staff members in, in this time of grief. The Buffalo Trail School System has brought in a team of counselors to help with the grief process. They're here, they're, they're working with students and staff to help debrief on uh, uh, what has happened and, and to help the kids through the process and, and the staff members to provide them with support through this process. According to RCMP, there is no evidence of alcohol or distracted driving at the scene. We're not anticipating at the moment uh, anything in the way of a criminal or motor vehicle act offense. Uh, uh, at the moment, we're not investigating anything beyond uh, the accident and the fatality itself. Kitscotty RCMP do not have any witnesses to the accident and are asking the public to come forth if they have any information. Bart Pediasic, Newcap News. RCMP are still looking for a third suspect after the Saddle Lake High School was vandalized. As Clayton Brown reports, the gymnasium was set on fire and the entire building was damaged. Three youths went on a crime spree early Saturday morning in Saddle Lake. It started with burning a vehicle, then breaking into the band office before torching the high school gym. At about 4 o'clock, they were called to the band office. Uh, the administration office, where somebody had broken into the and done a bunch of damages within the offices there. And then while they were dealing with that, they got a third call of uh, a fire over at the high school. The school was hit the hardest. Dozens of windows were smashed, the sprinklers caused extensive water damage, and the biggest damage is to the gym floor. Uh, damages were estimating or getting word from the band that they're estimating well over 100,000. Like the floor in the gymnasium alone would be close to 100,000 to replace, so it's, it's well over 100,000. Two of the three suspects are in custody and facing multiple charges. All three are, are young offenders and charges right now um, are the arson, uh, mischief and um, break and enter to commit mischief. Graduation was to be held at the end of this week, but all the decorations were lost in the fire. Despite that, the ceremony will still be held on Friday at the elementary school. In Saddle Lake, Clayton Brown, New Cap News. And yesterday we told you how City Council voted unanimously in favour of repealing a 2002 bylaw banning nude entertainment in our city. And today we have reaction from the city. Lise Cox has more. The city was approached by an Edmonton law firm representing businesses in Lloydminster, wishing to open a new establishment. But our nude entertainment bylaw stood in their way. After getting a legal precedented challenge, then uh, took it to an independent legal counsel who said I, basically the same uh, material, the same findings as the challenge. The findings. Bylaw 1-2002 conflicts with federal law. 